E-commerce continues to thrive as online shopping has become the way most people purchase items. If you want to create your own online store, but think it's too hard and time-consuming, you might be surprised. Hi everyone, this is Michael from webhostingcat.com. In this video, I'm going to show you how you can create your own WooCommerce store in about one hour or less. Before we get started building our store, let's answer a couple of questions you may have. First, why choose WooCommerce instead of one of the other online shopping platforms? Well, for me, I like the customization and ownership you get using WooCommerce. It's built on WordPress, so you get the benefits of the most popular website platform. And I appreciate the flexibility you get as opposed to the other platforms. For our demo here, I'm going to be using WooCommerce hosting by Nexus along with their store builder option. While you can use WooCommerce with any web host that supports WordPress, I like Nexus store builder for the following reasons. There are no e-commerce transaction fees. It's easy to set up and maintain. You can customize your store and sell all types of products. You get full ownership of your site. And they have low cost plans available. I've got a link to Nexus in the video description if you want to check them out after this. Nexus has WooCommerce hosting plans for all sizes of online stores. As I mentioned, for our store here, I'm going with the Store Builder option. Store Builder guides you through the process of creating your e-commerce site. It's great for first-time store owners as it takes you step-by-step step through each task to get your online store up and running quickly. So let's go ahead and build our e-commerce site here. Okay, first we're going to sign up for our Nexus Store Builder account here. Put in our name and email. And they're going to ask you a couple of questions here. This is going to help uh, with your site creation. This site is for me. And down here, how comfortable are you building websites? So for the demo, I'm just going to say not at all. And then we're going to go ahead and complete our purchase here. And it says your store is being created. And it says two to eight minutes is what it says here. That's about right. You get notified by email. And then you'll get an email with your link. It'll take you here. So now we're just going to click get started in the bottom right. And this is your login URL here. This will get you to your admin uh, dashboard. So just keep that handy. Uh, we're going to choose a username here. Okay. Store and create your password. Choose your password here. Mm. Okay, that's good enough. And click next. And give your store a name. Store. And then here you can add a tagline if you want. Change this to your cool shirt source. And this is where also you can add your logo. I won't do that now. Click next. And we're going to go over to step two on the right. Click that. And next you're going to choose your template. So we're going to pick one that's, uh, they all look pretty good here. Let's uh, scroll down and take a look at some of these. And you can uh, customize these later on. Let's see which one fits up the best. Here's a surf shop. Uh, let's see. This one looks nice here. We'll take this one. Uh, so this is your default template here. And you can customize uh, everything on the page here. That looks pretty good. Uh, so you can change the font here on the left. Let's take a look at uh, all of our options here. See which one looks the best. Yeah. It's really your preference. I just keep it on the default for the demo here. Click next. And next we're going to choose the color scheme. Take a look at some of our choices here. Uh, that looks good there. Click next. 
Click Save and Continue. And now it's going to import all your choices to create your online store. Just let this run here. I don't think it takes too long. Okay, it says nice choices. You're all set. Now we'll click Get Started on the right here. And this will take you into your admin dashboard. You know, WordPress, it should look familiar to you. But here we have our uh, setup guide here. This takes you step by step. So we'll so we'll start at the top here. And we'll enter our business address, other information here. And choose our currency, US dollars, and we'll click uh, physical goods. As you can see, you can uh, sell as many products as you want. We'll just go one to 10 for the demo here. Now we'll come down to our next step here where you can add products. Uh, if you have a list of a bunch of products, you can import using a CSV file. It makes, makes it a lot faster, but we'll go uh, manually here. We'll just add a new product. So we'll start with we'll a product name. We'll just say blue shirt. And I've uh, preloaded some images here, so I'll just take this one here. There it is. We'll enter our price here. Regular price we'll say $59.99 and we'll give it a sale price of uh, $24.99. And down here in the product description you can also add uh, photos and text. Cool blue polo shirt. And for the demo here, I'll just uh, add the same photo. If you have different photos, you can do that. And then I'm going to set the product image on the right here. update and take a look at it here. So it's pretty cool. As you can see, you can scroll around and view all of the images. Here's the description down here. So that looks pretty good. So we'll go back here. Now, uh, I've done this as a simple product, but you're probably thinking, yeah, but it's a shirt. What if we have different sizes? So I'll show you how you do that here. We're going to change it to a variable product. I'll show you how to do different sizes here. We're going to go to attributes and we're going to add a new custom product attribute. We'll call it size. And here on the right, we're going to enter our choices. So it'll be the sizes small, medium, large. Uh, and you separate them with the uh, vertical symbol. It's the pipe, they call it, I think. This vertical line here. We'll just do the four for the demo here. Like save. Now we're going to go into variations. I'm going to say create variation from all attributes. And our four variations have been added. So here we go here. So you see for each size we have a different uh, product number. And we'll add the price here. Now you can also do these individually. So if you have different prices, we can do that here. So we just click edit and we'll put the sale price here. Uh, 
I'll make it the same here, but if you have different prices, you can do that for each size. Click Save Changes. Click Update on the right here. And then we'll preview it. And now we can select uh, the size down here. And as you can see the inventory here. Okay, let's go back here. And I'm going to go ahead and add a couple more products here. So I'm actually going to speed things up here since it's really the same process. And actually, I want to interject something here. We'll slow down back to regular speed. Uh, you can actually, I uh, should have showed you this on the previous uh, item. You can actually uh, manage your inventory for each different size. So if I have a, so if you have a different quantity here, I would just click manage stock and then enter the quantity here. Then I can scroll down and do the same for each different size. Okay, let me go ahead and finish it up here. Okay, so now we've got uh, all of our products added to the store here. So we'll just preview it in the site. And here we go there. So we'll go back to our setup page here. And actually the next step is probably the one that's going to take the longest, depending on which option you choose. This is how we're going to connect our own domain to our website here. If you don't have one, you can purchase your domain from Nexus right here. And actually, that's probably the fastest way to go because it'll take less time to be set up. Uh, if you have your own domain, which I do, you can connect it. So we'll click Get Started here. And the process is easy. It's just that it, it may take more time for the... Uh, it's just that it may take more time for the propagation of the IP address. But that's how I'm going to do it here because I already have a domain. Now my particular domain is at GoDaddy. If you have a domain uh, somewhere else, the process will be very similar. So first I'm going to enter my domain here. And I'm going to click the arrow to verify. And now it's telling me this domain is not pointing your website because it's currently at GoDaddy. So there are two ways you can connect your domain here. You can change your name servers over to Nexus using uh, these four here. As you can see, NS1, 2, 3, and 4. That's probably the easiest way for most people. If you have experience, you can also change the A record, uh, which sometimes you have to do anyway if you have issues. But for our example here, I'm going to just change the name servers. So I'm going to go over to GoDaddy here, click Change on Name Servers, I'm going to say Enter My Own, and I'm going to copy these over. Change this one to Nexus. Minus 2, 
And I'll click add. Two, three. And as I said, if your domain is uh, with another uh, registrar, the process is uh, very similar. Click save. It's going to say yes, I really want to. And okay, so here up here it's saying it could take up to 40 hours to update globally. Uh, in my case, it usually takes a, at most about 24 hours, but, but that'll be really the only delay in creating your online store here. Once it's propagated, you can come back here and verify again. And it says our domain is ready to connect. So we'll click continue. And it says we're ready to go live. So this is our admin uh, URL here. So we can use that to edit the back end of the store. And now on the bottom right, we're going to click the begin site URL update. Uh, so now we're in our Nexus dashboard. And the next thing we want to do for our domain is uh, enable SSL for security. So in your Nexus dashboard, you click on SSL in the right here where it says auto, let's encrypt, we're going to enable both the www and non www versions. Click issue certificate. And let's take a few minutes, not that long. Now we're going to go back to our setup page here. And now we're going to configure shipping. You can also do that here. You can see a flat rate is set up here. Click on that. As you can see up here, you can set different options and classes. And let's go back to zones here. Let's set up. Uh, let's set up an express shipping rate here. We'll click edit. As you can see here, free shipping is already enabled. So we're going to click add shipping method. Click flat rate and choose add shipping method again. Now we'll go back and edit it. And for the demo, we'll say $5. Change the title here. Do express. And click save. And there you go. And now the next important step is to be able to accept payments for your online store. So we're going to go down here on our setup list. And you can see with WooCommerce you can connect to Stripe or PayPal. I'm going to use PayPal here just for the demo. So you can select standard or advanced card processing and click activate PayPal. And here's where you connect your PayPal account. And same way with Stripe. So let's go back and preview our site here. Now as you can see, now we have our name here. You can also add a logo, as I said. Yeah, it looks pretty good here. Click on an item. And you see the related products appear at the bottom. Now let's go through a couple ways you can customize the site. So we've got our store name here. You can also add your logo, which we didn't do. Uh, obviously you can edit the text here. You can also edit these images. So let's go ahead and do that. So we'll go back into our admin dashboard and we'll go to content on the left here. And we'll go click on pages. And we're going to edit the home page here. Now it's a point and click interface here. So if we want to change this, we can just highlight it and I ah, just say new polo shirt. And for these images on the slider, click on those and on the right here you can edit 
in the background settings you can change all four of those. So let's go ahead and do that. Click on the edit image here and I'll take you into your media library. Uh, and again for the demo I think I'll just use the same uh, photos that I've already added. And you can resize them if you want. I won't do that for the demo here. Do this one. And let's see, I don't have a fourth image, so I'll choose one here. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, I'll just use this one here. So let's go ahead and preview that. We'll refresh. And there you go. So now it's customized for our store. And uh, as I said, you can change all of these if you want. Actually, the text doesn't show up too well. Let's go ahead and change the color on that. Go back here and we'll highlight the text. On the right, where's this color? Let's make it white. That's better. Click update at the top and refresh it. There you go, that looks a lot better. So there you go, pretty easy to create your WooCommerce online store. As I said, you can uh, customize all of these the same way. So using Store Builder by Nexus really simplifies the process of creating your WooCommerce online store here. As you can see, the process is very easy and quick. If you ever do run into any issues, another great thing about Nexus is their support is excellent. So let me show you how to contact the support. So you go back into your Nexus dashboard here, and at the bottom left where it says let us help, click on the chat icon. And the chat box will pop up here on the right. So we'll select support and click start chat. And the response time is excellent with Nexus. Great support, great hosting. And uh, as you can see, Store Builder, I think, is a really great choice for creating an online store.